Good morning, everybody. So it is Sunday and it is currently like 2 p.m. ish. I'm chilling in my apartment. It is super gloomy and rainy outside and I'm just taking the weekend for myself and to rest because I'm so tired. And I just came back from the city from running some errands. And now I just wanted to show you guys my new yoga mat. This is the new Lululemon pink reversible yoga mat I got and it is so pretty because of the marble detailing and actually you could flip it and use it on this side as well. There's the logo here, but um, I like this pattern more. I just put it out to air out because it had, kind of has like a weird smell to it right now. So yeah, this was a gift from my older brother. So thank you. I can't wait to use it for my new yoga practices. Yep. So right now I'm just making some tea cause I kind of feel sick. My throat kind of itches a bit and yeah. Yesterday I went to get a facial. So I still have some acne here but it's honestly a lot better from what it used to look like. And it's really relaxing. I have been seeing the same facial lady since middle school. And yeah, all right, let's make some tea. my pot and now I have something to decorate the living room with okay so this is like a rose tea kind of but not really okay so update I just uploaded the life update empty apartment tour video on YouTube and you guys can go check it out please watch it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe I look like a fat mushroom right now and yeah, I'm really bored right now because I have no plans and I don't really know where to go if I left my apartment. So I'm just chilling on my bed right now until further notice. Yeah, this is what usually um, my days look like and my weekends. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and fortunately for me, class got canceled today. So I stayed home pretty much until now it's around two now and i just went to get groceries and i'll show you guys what i got luckily the supermarket is downstairs of my building so i literally just have to walk down and go across and i'll just show you guys what i got i actually didn't buy that much today because i already have a lot of groceries and i just got like like vegetables and produce so got some scallions um, bok choy Lemons, garlic, an onion, I got two zucchinis, I got pork belly because I really want to make Korean barbecue at home. Some seaweed, dry seaweed. A larger kimchi because I'm almost done with the first one. Chinese bakery bread. These are really great for breakfast because they're so easy and on the go. I have roasted pork. I also have just a simple croissant and tuna. My absolute favorite is the tuna one for sure. Good morning guys. It's Thursday and it's 7.54 and I just got ready and I'm wearing my favorite blouse and I'm getting ready for school. Um, I finally like put in effort today cause I woke up a lot earlier and I have an interview. So yeah, that's why I look like this right now. This is my favorite outfit I wore when I was in Taiwan and probably gonna pair it with my sneakers. And I think I'm gonna head out right now so I can catch the train and yeah, see you guys later. Hello everyone, currently on my break from class. I'm gonna go get a coffee. 
from Ubaru. taking a shower and I'm going to put a face mask on yes I'm wearing my headache headache I'm wearing my headband that has bunny ears I'm gonna try this new face mask out uh, my mom gave this to me it's called the forest beauty 24k gold and collagen lifting bio cellulose mask I've never tried this um, brand before so I'm excited because it looks fancy and there's 24k gold leaf in it, collagen, oat extract, and Q10. That sounds very, very fancy and good for the skin. Um, okay. Oh, that feels so good. Ooh, my skin looks so good now. So this is what my skin looks like after finishing the mask and I feel so good. My acne scars definitely kind of faded a bit, so I'm happy about that. And my skin just feels so awesome right now because I kind of downed the face mask water onto my skin. Now I just feel really rejuvenated. Anyway, I am going to finish the day with some yoga stretches before I go to sleep because my body is so sore from just on the move all day. 8 a.m., woke up at 7, all the way until 6 p.m. today. Overall, today was honestly a lot better compared to the past week because I feel like I time managed more today and the weather was honestly really good. And I also think I had a really productive really awesome therapy session. It was also my first time in the office and my first time meeting my therapist in person, which was really cool and she's so nice. So I'm really happy about that. Tomorrow is finally Friday. This week really passed by so fast, like literally so fast. And I have class all day again. I have thesis. Feeling really good and just trying to Prep the body and the mind to have a good night's sleep. Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England, never know. But when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? Good morning guys, it's currently 8 a.m. and I'm getting ready for school. My period came so I'm feeling really fatigued and tired and um, I look kind of crazy because this is my pajama shirt and these are the pants I'm wearing later. So I'm like really happy because something I see differently is my skin condition really got so much better. Um, and I think I broke out before because I was wearing masks all the time and I wasn't eating very well healthy and I had really bad acne. If you guys watched my Taiwan vlogs, my acne were like freaking craters on my face. And this is the first time in a lot of months that um, I see a really big change in my skin. It looks whiter and brighter and smoother and um, I think the mask yesterday really helped. So I'm really happy about that. Also, I honestly stopped wearing foundation a long time ago because there's not really a point since I'm always wearing a mask at school or I'm always at home. So I don't want to just treat this part of my skin badly. Good morning, everybody. Oh. I am very bloated. Um, 
It's currently 8.45 a.m. I think and I slept very well because I wasn't feeling well and I don't really feel like getting up right now to talk or be talking in general but just wanted to start off the day because the weather today is super nice if you guys can see very sunny and cloudless skies so i didn't vlog yesterday because actually a lot happened uh i don't know uh it was not the most ideal friday basically my period came and i got really fatigued and tired and nauseous and dizzy and i basically passed out in my school lobby it wasn't fun it was actually kind of embarrassing because a lot of students were passing by and like watching me die pretty much like on the school floor stairs but luckily there was like some staff and security that helped me and stayed with me the whole time i threw up and i did black out a bit and they were there with me the whole way through and made sure i was picked up my mom came and she picked me up it took a while but she did make it and yeah i'm just honestly so 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 grateful that our school has such great security and it's really making me reflect and realize how much i take for granted um i think we're so privileged to that we go to such a school with such good security but it really made me think about how much our security or just staff in general do for us like they stay super late shifts and they have to get home so late and a lot of them don't live in manhattan so they take really long commutes home and sometimes that can also be really not safe and they also have families and children and things that they have to take care of but these really kind people still took time out of their day to help me and not be a bystander which I think is very important just making me view the world differently and really view privilege differently and what I take for granted feeling a lot better now and I ended up just staying in and eating finally even though it was at 10 p.m. and Watching a lot of BTS videos, I watched a new In The Soup episode and that just made me feel really good and feeling a lot better. So today I have a little bit of energy in me, gonna try and do some stuff in the city. Hello everybody, so it is currently 8pm and I just spontaneously copped K-Tranada, K-Tranada, K-Tranada tickets and I'm so hyped. I really really love this artist. I got scammed before, before it was not fun, but it worked out. All right, also this is, um, I just scratched it. So this is just cause I'm itchy. I'm so excited and I'm gonna vlog it for you guys. So I'm just gonna get ready now. Just finished doing my makeup. I finally put on falsy, so I'm happy cause I haven't did my makeup like this in a while. I wish there was more lighting. I don't know. I think maybe I should change to something less formal looking. Uh, let me change. Okay guys, I don't know if it's just the lighting, but I just feel like I look so bleh, even though I dressed up and put on makeup. Um, but I changed my outfit, and I think I like this fit a lot better, and it's a lot more comfortable. It also started raining just now, so let me show you guys what I changed into instead. So, I changed into these jeans from Zara instead. They're just like these baggy fit, and they're so comfortable. I got them for 7 euros when I was in London. Then I got my Stussy track jacket suit because it's waterproof and it's kind of raining right now so I think it'll be good for this weather. It's also pretty light proof so once I get into the venue, I can take it off and I love just like the color. And yeah, I'm gonna wear my orange Nikes with these. I'm about to see the concert. I'm all ready. In my city. It's currently 3.20 a.m. and 
I am so tired. I could barely talk. You can tell all my makeup is off my face. Um, I just got home and I'm going to shower and sleep and I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow. I've also been realizing I said his name wrong and I'm so sorry. Please excuse me, but my head hurts so much. I'm going to shower and sleep now. The show is freaking awesome and my whole body hurts and I'm going to sleep. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday and I'm so bloated because I came back so late yesterday. I fell asleep at like 4 or 4.30 a.m. But the concert was so fun and I danced my whole body off and I spent so much money on drinks and the whole total cost of just like going to this concert, I spent so much money. But it, I think it was worth it because it was a really good time and a lot of people showed up at the end and I don't know why I have no voice. I didn't even really scream or talk during it. So yeah, anyway, um, today I am going into the city. I am going to run some errands and then I'm going to see this Broadway show called Beyond Babel. It is run by Keone and Mari, who are like like legends in the dance community. They're so freaking talented and they created this show. And today is the last performance they will be doing together for I don't know how much longer. So I bought tickets and I'm gonna go see it with my friends. And I'm really excited and just trying to get myself together and get ready for the day. It is so nice out today. Look at that. The sky is so nice. And you can tell there's always airplanes flying by. So it's currently 11.55 a.m. and I was thinking of going to the city early to shoot some portrait photos but i think i want to do some yoga and then i want to wash my clothes and then i want to make lunch and it's just like a lot so sometimes you just have to take a step back and do what you feel like your body needs to do in order to recharge <laughs> Slicing the zucchini. Yes, I'm adding zucchini to my fried rice because I'm just trying to make it healthier, kind of remix it. watching Beyond Babel and man it was so good like if anyone's in New York City and has time I really highly recommend watching this off-Broadway show it is so 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 good and I cried so many times throughout it because it's just so emotional and so beautiful and so well performed and well thought out and I've been a fan of Keone and Mari for like ever so freaking amazing and just so good at what they do and their storytelling is just so good i just keep repeating the same words but 
such a good show. I'm gonna watch it again on Friday because it's just that good. And I have a friend who is performing that day. And yeah, really good Sunday. Um, I'm going to head to sleep now and just thinking about the rest of this week makes me stress and tired and it hasn't even started. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog up till here because I vlogged a lot and I feel like I talked a lot to the camera but you know what? I'm actually really enjoying um, vlogging and I hope you guys are too and yeah, I will see you in the next one.